Today I'm going to be showing you how to make cheesy stars. So, here's what you'll be needing. Some milk. Some self-raising flour. Some butter. Some salt. An egg. Some cheese. You'll also be needing a rolling pin. A star cutter. If you don't have this, you can use any other cutter you want. Or... I'll tell you what else to do. A jug, a sieve, a bowl, a teaspoon, and a cheese grater. So the first thing you want to do is measure out 150 grams of self-raising flour, and then put in half a teaspoon of salt. There we go. Then we're going to put this into the bowl. We're then going to add 75 grams of butter. Hi, so I've just put my um I've just went measured out my butter, but I'm gonna want to you're gonna want to chop it up smaller so that it's easier to use in a minute. We're just going to chop it up into chunks and put this into our bowl, our mixing bowl. Um, the reason you're going to want to chop it up into small chunks is because we're going to be using our hands. And we're going to um, rub in the butter into the sugar and the salt and make some breadcrumbs. Okay. So make sure your hands are nice and clean at the start of baking and also in um, at this step because we are just about to use our hands. So it's very, very easy um, to make breadcrumbs. So all you need to do is get use your fingertips. You don't want to be using the palms of your hands because that might make a dough, but you want to... Um, you don't want to get your palms your hands dirty basically you just want to use your fingertips and um, break up the butter first and it's super easy to do this because it's nice and easy today um, but if not it might take a little bit longer. so here's what you want to do just using the tops of your fingertips rubbing in the butter and the flour and the salt the mixture should be looking like a little bit um, top tip if you have, if you feel like you have any lumps, just shake your bowl and any lumps should come to the top. Okay, so now everything is made into fine crumbs, we're now going to add our cheese. So what you want to do is measure out 75 grams of cheese and then grate the 75 grams. Okay, so I have just grated my cheese and it's melted to the top. So we want to add it into the mixture, but we don't want to add all of it. So I'll just show you how much I'm adding and then I'll show you how much I've got left. So you probably want to add about three quarters of it and um, I've got this much left and the rest is in the bowl. So then you just want to mix and you can use a knife. I actually just use this knife to cut up the butter and cut it off of the... Um, chunk of butter, the other chunk of butter. So yeah, just mix all of that in. Okay, so now we're going to make our egg and milk mixture. So you just want to crack the egg into the jug, like so. Um, make sure you don't get any um, shell in the jug. But yeah. And then we just want to use a dash of milk, which is about this much. A little bit more. Should be okay. So then we're just going to whisk that up, and I'm just going to use the same knife again because it's all going in together. Um, you can use a fork if you want. But this should be okay. Okay, so now we're going to be adding the mixture into the bowl, and you don't want to add all of it, so you want to leave it about um, this much after, so there's about that much left, and um, actually a little bit less. And then you actually are going to use the knife again 
to mix everything up and once combined it should look something like a dough. Now mine's a little bit wet um, so I'm just going to add a bit more flour just to make it the perfect consistency so it's not overly wet and if it's too dry then just add a little bit more of your egg and milk mixture but it should be okay. Okay so the next thing you're going to want to do is start using your hands to form the dough properly. Um, now what you want to do before you do this is flour the surface you're going to be working on um, just gently, you don't need too much. Um, yeah, you just want to flour that bit and also make sure you've got enough on your hands so that it doesn't stick to your hands, especially um, on days like today because it's nice and warm. Um, so, yeah, so it should look something like this. Um, so this bit's really fun. So all you want to do is take the dough out of the bowl and put it onto the floured surface. Um, you're just basically trying to combine it properly. So there's no bits falling off, um, like you just saw there, but um, that's all you're doing really at the moment, is just trying to combine the dough better. Okay, so I've put a little bit more flour down so that it doesn't stick at all. And I've also floured my rolling pin. I'll just put a bit more flour on there. So now you're just going to want to roll out your dough. And you don't want it too thick or too thin because if it's too thin, then the stars will fall apart. And if it's too thick, then obviously they won't cook fully. Um, so it's really very easy to roll it out and it shouldn't stick at all if you put enough flour down. Okay, so the perfect size for these stars is apparently um, a little bit thinner than your little finger. So your pinky finger on the end, it should just be a little bit thinner than that, which is the perfect size. So now with our cutter, we are going to just go in from the edge, trying to use up as, as much pastry as possible and just press them out. As you can see, I have done one star and I'm just pressing out the other one. So you just want to press it out like that and then just go in with another one just there and try not to get your fingerprint in it, but that's basically all you're doing. Okay, so if you don't have any cutters at all, then you can just use a knife to cut out squares or if you're more inventive, uh, circles, triangles, uh, hearts, stars, anything you want really um so yeah you can just do that you can make lines so it turns into kind of like cheesy straws and um, that could be fun but yeah as i said it doesn't it really doesn't have to be a star cutter it can be any cutter you want and um you're gonna be making quite a lot of these depending on what size cutter you have if you have one like mine then you will definitely be making a lot um but yeah so i've already made probably about 25 and this is only the first roll. So I did actually forget to add that you are going to be using a baking tray with some baking paper on to put the cheesy stars into the oven on. Now I have run out of space on my baking tray but you, what you would do with all of this extra um, dough is make it into a ball and form it all together again and then just roll it out and just do it as you did before. And you can obviously just do two different uh, ovens. So you just put this one in the oven and then when that's done, you just put the next batch in. Or you can keep this in the fridge, but not for too long um, until you want to bake your next batch. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is um, the egg and the milk mixture that you used before. You're going to want to start by pouring this over your cheesy stars. And this will make them go nice and brown and they'll look really nice and taste lovely. Okay, so I have now put um, the mixture all over all of these and you really don't need much, but it does cover it really easily. The next thing is to make them extra cheesy, we're gonna put the rest of the remaining cheese on top of the cheesy stars. So um, really easy, just kind of put a little bit on each one Make sure you've got enough for all of them so you're not overloading them with cheese and they just drip everywhere. But yeah, that's the one. Um, you just want to put them in the oven on a 200 centigrade uh, heat uh, for 10 minutes or until they're golden brown. So yeah. 
so I've just put the other half of my dough into the cling film and I'm going to put it in the fridge to cook tomorrow. and it wasn't quite 10 minutes but they're nice and golden brown so I'm just going to leave them to cool for a bit until I eat them but they taste really nice hot and they also taste really nice cold but I would eat them as soon as possible. Thank you to everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed making these cheesy stars. Um, it was great to see that so many of you enjoyed making the mug cake and I'll see you next week. Bye! Mm -hmm.